this video may be a bit different from what you normally see on this channel i think for this i just really want to just create something and open up a conversation at the time and the topic of today's video is basically authentically creating so making stuff for yourself versus making stuff to appeal to a certain audience or to get a reaction from a certain group of people or um an individual in fact it's starting to feel like with the way the world is going with all the social media like youtube in itself and instagram it gets very very easy to start to lose what you would make authentically by yourself compared to doing something to make yourself get viral get views get those little love hearts on instagram all that all that clout stuff to build yourself up as an artist and the reason i bring this up is because i'm in the same predicament there was a time before social media when creating was just creating it was creating things for yourself for the enjoyment and just seeing what it is you can use your imagination to make but lately with the whole youtube side and as i dive deeper into it i'm starting to realize my mind is thinking more on what can i create that will appeal to people so i'm starting to ignore what i what i want to do authentically and i'm starting to think about what will get a reaction what will boost more views what will get more of an audience and what will cause some sort of attraction and this causes a lot of conflict because i'm starting to know as a creative person when you make something you have no control on how people see it or how they're going to receive what you create and that goes for anything a musician entrepreneur um any sort of field of creative endeavor you'd create something because there's something in you speaking to right it's it's telling you something like oh you you know make this and it excites you and that excitement motivates you and fuels you to create it because i feel like and i don't know if you feel the same i feel like if you concentrate too heavily on that aspect worrying how other people will receive it you wore it all down and it loses what it could have been in the original in its original form if you listen to what you internally are hearing to create and make and recently i'm reading a book called the fountainhead i don't know if any of you guys read it but it's basically about a guy called harold rock and he is an architecture who architect who creates incredible buildings but they don't sell and he lives a life at the beginning of just struggle but throughout all the struggle he doesn't fold yeah he has a friend called peter keaton in him in the story he sells out straight from the back he goes to well not saying you go to uni you sell out but he goes to the university gets a good job a high company and he doesn't create anything authentically that is from himself it's just what people want to please the people and the basic story is how authentic can you realistically be in this world i mean it's it'd be interesting it's intriguing to think of the concept of just being a hundred percent pure hundred percent listening to your intuition and not caring what anyone thinks obviously this isn't a real story it's, it's it's a very interesting book and i highly recommend you read it but i feel like in today's world that's very hard to do not only are you got to be an, you have to be an artist you also have to be well it feels like someone who has to play for the crowd who has to make things for the public which you are a business at the end of the day, so it makes sense. But at the same time, the lines very easily get blurred. And before you know it, years have gone by and you haven't really created anything you've wanted to create. Instead, you've just created um, things that have served, served some kind of algorithm. Um, so yeah, this video, like I said, is a bit different. I think I'm just trying to open up some sort of conversation to you guys, the, the people who watch these videos and really hear your thoughts, whether you find yourself as creatives. It's a very easy slope to end up just creating for Instagram. And it's, you see all the time, how many artists draw just uh, pretty girls' faces, replicas of the one before from Pinterest. And it happens because it works and it gets liked. And there's nothing wrong with it. Obviously, if you, something's working, you know what I mean? It's it's working it's working the people want it and it feels good to get attention for it but at the same time i just find it so easy to start losing your authentic voice and then to mold to something else and this is where the content's different now i i mean before i was hungry to try to make an impression with stuff like oh what can i get to get the sort of views and build this thing which is which is noble I, it's not like a bad thing it's a load of lessons but lately i'm sort of reverting back to how or what is it that i want to create so this is why I'm making this video. Anyway, like I said, this is a bit of a random one. Let me know if you guys have experienced something similar. Um, I hope you like the drawing I've done today. I'm just trying to fill in the sketchbook. I'm not trying to finalise anything. I'm just trying to build it as I go. 
Oh, and just to let you know as well, I'm not trying to sell anything yet, but I'm currently building up a course. And it's a bloody good course. It's, it's, it's something I'm spending a lot of time on and making. I want everything to be perfect. It's like my art. I don't want to put something out there half arsed. But that's why there's not been a lot of uploads coming to this channel currently because I'm really invested in creating something which actually gives value. I'm just trying to think about what value I can give. So um, stay tuned for that. And like I said on this video, guys, just let me know in the comment section um, if you've experienced similar, similar issues. It'd be good to hear. Good to hear from other creative people. Um... I'm not even going to plug anything to subscribe, just, yeah, keep creating. <laughs>